Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is update on KCT 2024 and what has happened yesterday. And I'll cover all the important information which is uh, available right now. And this is based on the news article published in Times of India today. You can check here. So first is in, in, on number of objections being raised, right? So as of now, KEA has got 700 objections against CET questions, right? which is very very low right so more than than 3 lakh students have you know given the exam and lot of experts are there who want to raise the objection but the number of objections is very low so it is very important that all of you who are watching this video please raise the objections with the question numbers you want to raise it it will give strong message to KEA as well as the government of Karnataka that this is a very serious issue and they has to resolve it as soon as possible right so if you see from the article you know 700 objections and uh, only two days are left you can raise the objection up to April 27 which is Saturday right so two days are left and if you see the what the PU Karnataka unaided PU College Management Association is saying they have mentioned that 15 questions in chemistry 11 in maths and 10 in biology and 9 in physics were out of the syllabus so karnataka unaided pu college association has also given its complaint right and i have mentioned yesterday also that the government of karnataka or the higher education department of karnataka state government has formed an internal committee to find the number of out of out of syllabus questions and this committee is expected to give its uh, you know recommendations in a very small time once the complaints are received right so this is the email id where you have to raise the complaint k e a u c e t 24 at the rate gmail.com for all your exam related grievances right next is the objection of uh, you know students and faculty members will help them to decide they want to go for the examination or avoiding the grace marks or scrapping out of syllabus questions and there were also the grievance which student have raised is regarding the coloring of bubbles in the OMR sheet, right? So the biggest grievance is that the student lost a time in deciphering the questions, right? Because it is out of syllabus and they were not able to bubble the OMR sheet and that's our number of questions they solved is also less. So this is also one of the grievance. And this is again a very important step from KEA or the move you know so what KEA has done KEA has also formed a committee and this committee is going to frame a new exam pattern and syllabus right for UGCET so the question is why do we need a committee which will frame an exam pattern and syllabus now since UGCET exam is over right so that gives feeling that if KCT is over, why is KEA forming a committee to decide on the new exam pattern and the syllabus now, right? So it is possible that it may be thinking of re-exam also. And KEA does not repeat the same mistake for PGCET exam. That's why they are updating the PGCET syllabus in tune with VTU. So and there is also an update from the parent side that parents co co coordination committee has been formed and they said if the ke is not taking any decision by 27 on 27th of april they will all move to the high court of karnataka so that are the key updates from yesterday and i'll keep updating thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar details on the kct take care and bye